Hey guys, welcome back to my booth. Irfan here. Feels good to be making a video after such a long time. Now what I have today is very relevant to what's going on globally. A lot of us are still confined to the safety of our homes and in places where the lockdowns have eased out, a lot of people still choose to stay indoors unless really required to step out. Now with more indoor time comes more internet usage, be it working from home or distance learning or the anxious switching between social media apps waiting and hoping for a miracle to happen and if your Wi-Fi router is in one corner of the room you are most probably scrambling to get good coverage in the other now that is what the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender is here to tackle now this is kind of a pricey gadget uh, it uh, retails for 699 dirhams which is around 190 US dollars and there are dozens of other range extenders out there which might be cheaper so what makes this special and worth talking about well, couple of things. Number one, it works with any Wi-Fi router. I mean, I've got it along with this TP-Link AC750 dual band Wi-Fi router, but it works with any. This one goes for about 100 dirhams, which is like 27 US dollars. Moving on, it supports Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest and fastest Wi-Fi. It can be set up extremely easily like literally you can set it up in a couple of minutes with a smartphone app additionally you can give a wired connection from the extender to any device which might not support wi-fi for example a pc or a gaming console or tv and whatnot and not to forget you can also set it up to extend your phone's data hotspot i'll show you everything uh, in a moment but first unboxing if gadget reviews, DIY projects, and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Inside the box, we have some user manuals uh, and the Wi-Fi extender, and that's about it. The box itself is very informative though. I mean, they have put on every single feature it has on there, not even one left out. On the back, you can see something different. Here it mentions something like a blanket your home with stable, super fast, seamless Wi-Fi via one mesh. Anyways, this here is the extender. Now it is quite a handful. I thought it'd be a bit smaller, but it's not that bad. The horns go all the way up. It uh, plugs in like any other three pin plug. You've got four LED indicators here for the power, Wi-Fi connection, 2.4G and 5G connection. There's a reset button next to a lock button on one side and an ethernet cable port on the other. From here you can give a wired connection to a PC, TV or a gaming console if it doesn't have Wi-Fi. Of course you'll need to connect the extender to your main network first which I'll show you in a moment. So after you plug in the extender and wait for the power LED to turn solid blue, you have three ways to get it hooked onto your home, office or your neighbor's Wi-Fi, whatever you're using as long as you have the password for it. The three ways are one through a smartphone app, second using a web browser and third using the router itself by pressing the WPS button. I'll show you the simplest of the three which is the smartphone app. It's called Tether by TP-Link available on App Store and Google Play for free. First go to your Wi-Fi settings in the phone and connect to the TP-Link extender's Wi-Fi. Should be a signal broadcasted by the extender, should show up a normal, as a normal Wi-Fi uh, connection, connect to it, then launch the app and go to my devices and tap on add. Uh, it will automatically detect the extender and then making sure the power LED on your extender has turned solid blue tap here now the app will ask permission to join the extenders network once it is done searching and connecting set up a password for it now, it doesn't have to be that complicated uh, as eventually your Wi-Fi password will be the one in the end to connect to the internet next it will ask uh, for you to select your Wi-Fi, your host network, and enter the password. You'll see the page twice. First one uh, was for the 2.4G connection, and this one is for 5G, if your router supports it. If not, you can skip this one. Anyways, select your Wi-Fi, enter your password, and press next. Finally, it shows the extender's network names. It will be your Wi-Fi name with an additional EXT in the end, and it will also for the passwords. The password will remain the same uh, as your original Wi-Fi passwords. Press apply and it will take about a minute or so to finalize the settings and you are good to go. Well, you have successfully doubled your router's range in less than five minutes. Now to make the most out of this extender, place it near the dead zone of your Wi-Fi just before you run out of coverage because essentially it is not a booster, it is just an extender. So placing it near to your router is just, you know, wasting it. Good thing is there is an indicator in the router. 
Now when you plug it too far from the router, the Wi-Fi indicator LED will turn red. Now as long as it is blue, you're good. Also, you can use the phone to determine a good spot to make the most out of it. You can go to Tools uh, in the app and Location Assistant. Uh, you can just check it around different spots around your home. It will let you know if your extender is in a good spot or if you should move it further to extend the range even more. Other than that, you can check what all devices are connected to your extended network and also share the Wi-Fi through a QR code, for example, when your friends come over, after the quarantine, of course. There's a bunch of more settings which I'm not going to get into. Uh, bottom line, if you are facing internet problems even after purchasing a good plan, you might as well get an extender and make life easy. Oh yeah, and uh, if you want to delete this device from the app, you cannot. Simply press the reset button with a pin for one or two seconds while the extender is on and that will wipe out all the settings so you can do a fresh setup. And finally, back to what I said in the beginning about extending your phone's hotspot. Well, if you've got a generous data plan on your phone, might as well share it with someone. So all you have to do is go through the exact same setup steps from the beginning, uh, but this time switch on your phone's hotspot. And when it comes to host network selection, select your phone's hotspot instead of your home Wi-Fi. Of course, you need uh, two phones for this one since one will be the hotspot and the other one you'll need to do the setup unless you do the setup via a PC. Um, and after you're done, it's, it's all good to go. I mean, you can have the phone in one room and the extender in the other and, uh, you know, you can be using the Wi-Fi in both rooms. So, that's neat. I've put down links for the extender uh, and the router in the description box below in case you want to check it out. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. This was a quick short video. I have more interesting stuff on the way very soon. If you liked what you saw, do hit the like button below and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, DIYs and life hacks. You can also follow me on Instagram and other social media. The links to all of which are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.